Message to GCCA members from a friend, June 1st, 2019. The following is quoted with permission but anonymously from a former associate of GCCA who has many friends remaining in the cult. Quote, from Rabbi Shmuley's letter and the testimony of others, we can see that Gabriel and the easily angered Paladin quite obviously are frauds, and this alone also calls into question any and all other claims made by Gabriel, including his supposed divine mandate and his purported continuation of the revelation. We also see that he is not clairvoyant, or at least could not demonstrate this ability in the Dateline video, and also in many other instances, such as several failed predictions over the years, etc. And to my knowledge, he's never healed anyone either, though perhaps certain members of his community attribute their good health to his quote-unquote healing sperm. As Carl Sagan once famously said, Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence, and we still have yet to see any such evidence presented by Gabriel. And while his earlier dedication to serving the homeless and comforting those in prison is certainly commendable, I'm appalled at how this once humble and helpful ministry has now devolved into the slave encampment it is today. I must ask myself, why would a self-proclaimed higher consciousness being feel the need to deprive his followers of their own God-given liberty and free will to enact such rigid controls, micromanaging every single aspect of their lives? Why must families, the most precious people in our lives for most of us, be torn apart to serve some bizarre spiritual purpose which only he can understand? I mean seizing everyone's worldly possessions and parasitizing their free labor for all these years just isn't enough for this man, and all of this to serve God's perfect will? At Avalon Gardens, they've got a farming operation, all right, one where humans are farmed. First, by confiscating their wealth, then denying their freedom, their privacy, their personal sovereignty, even their own children, at the whim of another ordinary human being then drained of every last drop of their life energies to suit and serve his plans without compensation. This is exactly what totalitarian tyrants have done throughout history, creating a ruling class and a servile slave class, whom they then exploit and abuse through fraud, intimidation, coercion, and fear, backed by a nefarious and spineless administration which dares not object to the immoral policies and practices imposed on the populace they purport to represent. And this master-slave paradigm at Avalon perfectly reflects much of what we see today in corrupt governments across the world who believe that they are entitled to either grant or revoke one's inherent God-given natural law rights. The main differences I see with Avalon and that this divine administration is not only much more intrusive and restrictive, but also presumes to possess a moral and spiritual superiority over their followers, which justifies this extreme level of dictatorial control. Just ask yourselves, would the Creator Himself really have it this way? I'm sure that those members of the community whom I know and I love would feel offended by what I say here, that I've betrayed them. But no, my friendship is always genuine, and I believe that I'd be forsaking them by not speaking my mind on this matter. There are some very wonderful people who have allowed themselves to be conned into submission, and they deserve far better than this. Sorry, GCCA, but I calls it like I sees it, and I am more than just a bit disgusted by what I'm hearing from so many former members. This is not higher consciousness spiritual living. This is mind control and slavery, pure and simple. People should never be subjected to this kind of demeaning exploitation in order to follow a spiritual path. And though my now former, question mark, friends, they may shun me for having dared to question the integrity of their leader. I only seek to serve truth, and I'm simply stating the obvious, that regardless of all the great work done at Avalon by people who are essentially enslaved, slavery in any form is still just plain wrong. Period. Today, the residents of Avalon Gardens, which touts itself as a model of higher consciousness, spiritual living to be emulated, are actually subject to a much more extreme degree of tyrannical control than can be found almost anywhere else on earth. How many churches does anyone know of which subject their followers to the kinds of restrictions imposed there? It's a prison of sorts, 
a slave camp operating under the guise of a spiritual community. To lure in people who merely speak spiritual growth and connection with like-minded others, then to strip them of their wealth, require them to work long days without compensation, break up couples, remove children from their parents, deny them their freedom and privacy, forbid contact with loved ones in the outside world, etc., 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 is not merely wrong, it's evil. All of these things represent not spiritual progression, but spiritual sickness on the part of a deranged, power-crazed leadership who would not only enact and enforce these absurd and wicked policies, but who actually view them as being right and good. And to me, higher consciousness means, among other things, but first and foremost, true human freedom, which is nowhere to be found at this place. A lie doesn't become truth, wrong doesn't become right, and evil doesn't become good just because one man says so. Anonymous person who cares. Thank you.